Hi, it's David with Precision Zone here to talk about the CACR SR SB and BB version servo packs. Uh, SB being the through hole mounted, BB being the base mounted version. Uh, so we're going to talk about uh, the alarms that you can see on these drives. Uh, if you start with alarm one, uh, you'll be able to see it here on uh, the dis seven segment display. Uh, it's going to be an overcurrent issue. Uh, this could be caused by a motor that's being grounded, uh, some faulty cables uh, going to the motor. Uh, if you have any issues with those, those are the most common causes uh, for this type of failure in the drive. Uh, this could also cause uh, LED to come up, uh, LED2 to come up, which would be a uh, circuit protector uh, trip, and that would be this. Uh, this circuit breaker over here would be tripped and you would want to take a closer look to make sure that that, uh, that has not been tripped and if it has been tripped to uh, figure out what has caused that issue. It could be an issue with the motor uh, that, that could have caused uh, that trip or an issue with the drive uh, if something shorted out inside the drive. Uh, you're going to continue uh, if looking at alarm 3 or alarm 4 those are going to be very similar alarms. Uh, it's going to be regenerative trouble or an overvoltage condition. Uh, typically, if you have an issue with your regeneration circuitry in your drive, that could cause an overvoltage alarm. Uh, the overvoltage could also be you just have uh, excessive uh, voltage on the incoming side of the drive, and, and you would want to check that out as well. LED5 and LED C are going to be very similar. It's going to be an overspeed or an overrun prevention. That can be caused by most likely a faulty encoder or encoder connection. Uh, and that would be seen here, either alarm five or alarm C. Uh, alarm um, six would be a voltage drop issue. Uh, this could be an issue with the voltage being too low on the incoming side of the drive. Uh, it could also be an issue with the voltage detection circuitry uh, as well as the over voltage as I mentioned earlier uh, and that, those are things that you would need to the only thing you for alarm six over voltage uh, voltage drop you would want to just verify that the uh, incoming power is correct uh, it could also be caused by a voltage uh, detection circuitry uh, as well as the over voltage alarm uh, for alarm seven and alarm eight those are very similar alarms as well uh, it's an overload condition and a heat sink overheat uh, overload could be caused by a motor that's drawing too much current and that can be um, if it's binded if that motor is binded uh, the heat sink overheat could also occur if your cabinet is too hot uh, you want to check the cooling in your cabinet make sure that all your drives are being properly cooled uh, if the fans not working properly that could be another cause as well uh, for alarm B, that would be a CPU error, uh, most likely just a faulty control board. Uh, for alarm F, uh, open phase, that could be an issue with your incoming power uh, if you have dropped the phase. Uh, if you have any further questions or troubleshooting, uh, please feel free to contact Precision Zone and we'll be glad to, to help you out. Uh, our qualified technicians repair these drives, recondition these drives. Uh, test them in our custom-built simulators or in shop machines uh, and they do come with a 12-month warranty.